Until Dopopa's time, Tibetan philosophers usually wrote about emptiness, or shunyata in Sanskrit, as the lack of an inherent nature of phenomena and beings. Nagarjuna, whose writings crystallized the teachings of the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras, characteristic of Mahayana approaches to emptiness, refutes inherent existence using logic while at the same time maintaining that it is not the case that nothing exists. Dopopa's Shentong, in keeping with Third Turning Sutras, emphasize the permanence of the ultimate. Absolute truth, indivisible space and pure awareness, is the primordial Buddha. Permanent, stable, eternal. Everlasting, all pervasive thusness. Before Dobopa's time, Buddhist scholar practitioners had devised a variety of approaches to the profound topic of emptiness, as expressed in the Yogacara. And Matyamaka systems, but what was most revolutionary about his Shintong expression of Matyamaka was that he blended the terminologies of Yogacara and Kalachakra Tantra with more traditional descriptions of the highest Matyamaka view. Before Dobopa's time, no one had proposed, in the context of Matyamaka, two terms describing distinct kinds of emptiness, which is just what Dobopa's Shintong constituted. According to him. Conventional phenomena are empty of their own nature, an emptiness he called rentong, or rentong, or self-emptiness. That is, lack of an inherent self-nature, which accords with the more conventional views of emptiness held by other lamas. Of his day, but Dobopa proposed a higher form of emptiness, the ultimates, that is, Buddha natures, emptiness of all that is other than itself. This he called Shentong, or Shentong. Thus, Dobopa distinguished conventional and ultimate, 
on the basis of the type of emptiness that is a phenomena's final mode of being. Relative or conventional phenomena, such as the supposed self of persons, do lack a true or established nature. In this way, Dobopa held that Rentong and Shintong, far from being contradictory, were both necessary and complementary to each other. Rentong applied to the level of conventional phenomena and was necessary to understand them correctly, while Shintong described ultimate reality accurately. Much of the later Rentong Shintong debates seem to assume that one of these categories is correct, while the other is mistaken. But Dopopa posits the two as complementary categories. Thus, like other lamas of his day, Dopopa held that all phenomena that appear to everyday levels of the mind, that is, self-existent persons, paths, etc., were in fact mistaken appearances, which completely lacked their own nature or capacity to exist truly from their own side. Thus, the phenomena of conventional reality are empty in the sense that they lack self-nature. They are rental, and descriptions of such imputed phenomena correspond to descriptions of conventional truth in Madhyamaka. Ultimate truth or Paramartha Satya in Sanskrit, by contrast, does not lack its own nature according to Dobobha. This way of apprehending phenomena, which he calls by many synonyms, including Sugata essence, thusness, Absolute Dharmakaya, Great Matyamaka, Great Luminosity, and others, is empty in the sense that it is altogether separate from conventional or deluded apprehensions of phenomena. Thus, the type of emptiness appropriate to ultimate truth is Shentong, emptiness of all that is not ultimate. Among Dopopa's many doctrinal innovations, this assertion of two distinct types of emptiness is the most radical and profound. Dopopa treated Rentong in the same way that scholars of his time treated the views of the lower philosophical systems. He held it, although it was not the final nature of ultimate reality, to be necessary in the contemplative pedagogical process leading from an ordinary view of persons and phenomena, in which those conventional objects seem to be existent inherently, and being's ultimate mode of existence, Buddha nature, is not apparent. To a liberated view in which conventional phenomena 
are recognized as dependently arisen. And Buddha nature free of conventionalities dawns in the practitioner's experience. For more information on what Jonan Dharma says about the ultimate reality, please visit our website at jonandharma.org. And if you like our video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.